Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com and today we're going to talk about the World Inferno. More specifically, the World Inferno that you get points by killing monsters and killing chaotic stronghold troops. So, first things first, you want to set your heroes up correctly for it. You do need to do that, it's very important. You see here I've got my three standard heroes, that's uh, Infantry, Archer, and Cav. And then I've got a True World hero right there, which is a Raid Monster gear. And then I've got several sets of Purple Cav gear. I've got three heroes that have Purple Cav gear on. And those are just failed crafts on Dominator. So if we go back in and we look at it, you see my Stronghold monster, uh, hero, has Troop March Speed and Stronghold March Speed on it. That's True World. I only use that hero for Strongholds. And then the other two heroes, Purple Cav Gear, all have Stronghold March Speed on them. That's important. You want to get there as quickly as possible. So you see that the World in Front is about to start. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to pop a 300% March Speed boost. And I'm going to have that up for the entire time. Unfortunately, the duration of the World Inferno is 50 minutes, and those boosts are only 15 minutes. So in order to have it running the entire time, you do have to pop 40. And another thing, if you want to get high ranking in this World Inferno, it's not going to be cheap. You're going to use a lot of teleports. You're going to use some march speeds. Uh, you'll see me getting uh, ranked 2 to 5 pretty frequently, and that's whenever I decide that I'm going to be a cheapskate and I'm not going to use any march speeds. If I'm going for first place real hard, which usually I do, and rarely I get, because Fun Inception is incredibly good at these Infernos, and also Achilles has shown up out of nowhere and started blowing these things up as well, uh, then I will be using March Speeds, and I'll go over that here in a bit. But the bottom line is, you need several heroes that are set to Cav, and you see here, I'm going to be using Cav Troops for nearly every single March. The only time that I use Infantry or Archer Troops is if the Stronghold is directly next to me. And you want to kill level 26 and above Chaotic Strongholds. That's your whole purpose in this thing. You're not going to kill any monsters. Don't worry about monsters. The only time you want to kill a monster is if it's a level 30 or above elite monster. That's it. So if you have somebody farming monsters and spawning elites for you, awesome. You're cheating and you're going to beat me and that makes me mad. But you can do that if you want to do that. If you get your entire alliance spawning 30 elites for you, go around, kill those. That's a good amount of points too. If it's not an elite, don't hit it. So you see here, all I'm doing is I'm using the search function and I'm searching for level 30s. If the level 30 is under 3 kilometers away from me, that's my personal cutoff. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Depends how I'm feeling, depends how I feel like I'm doing on points. Then I'll go ahead and send a long march at them using one of my heroes that is set with uh, Stronghold March Speed and using all cav. And so you see what I did there is I popped a couple speeds on my way back from that 30. So now I'm just looking as my troops are marching back, looking for the next 30. When I find the next 30, I'm going to scan around it and I'm going to look for all Strongholds level 26 or above. You see there, I sent infantry at that one because it's right next to me. And now I'm going to send cav at these ones that are on the screen here that are level 26. And so all it is is you're just scanning your map, looking for 30s, porting onto the 30s, and then killing everything level 26 or above around them. And a lot of people will sit in one spot and will send at every single 30 in that they can even find in range of them. You see here, I'm hitting these ones that are 2.5 away. And that's about as far as I want to go. I don't like to go much further than that. I'd rather use a port. Because if you think about it, a teleport costs 1,500 gold. A 50% march speed costs 500 gold. So if you're going to use three or more march speeds on it, you may as well have teleported. That's the bottom line there. So what you're looking for is clumps like this. See that 30 next to the 30, and then there's 26 there as well? That's good points. You want to find a lot of clumps like this. The more clumps like that you find, the more likely you are to win the World Inferno. So you port next to them. I use... Mainly Cav on every single march. You saw I sent uh, archers right there. Archers are the slowest. You want to avoid sending archers unless they're directly next to it, and you know you're going to be sitting there for a second. If you send archers long range, you're going to have to use some speeds to get back quickly. And a lot of it does depend on who's playing and how lucky that person gets. For this World Inferno, uh, it was me and maybe one or two other people in my kingdom that were killing 30s for this World Inferno. If you've got a lot of people in your kingdom that are killing 30s, and the release of this video might mean now there's going to be a lot of people in your kingdom killing 30s. It gets a lot harder. You'll run out of 30s quickly, and I'll show that in just a minute. So all I'm doing still, teleporting from chaotic to chaotic to chaotic, killing everything within my search range, using mainly cav troops, and speeding up the marches when they're long range. You don't want to speed whenever the march is nearly back because it's a 50% march boost. It reduces speed by half. So you see there, I pop it twice. Pop it twice, get back in five seconds, and then I start looking for the next one. Now I've gone hyperspeed because nobody wants to watch me kill chaotic strongholds for 50 minutes. I don't even want to kill chaotic strongholds for 50 minutes, but Dark Lord chests are important. So all this is, is me at an incredible rate of speed, teleporting around the kingdom, 
killing everything level 26 or above that is within my march distance. And the reason for 26 or above is because level 26 and above chaotic strongholds get tier 6 troops. That gives you more points in this inferno. And that's why you get so many more points for killing chaotic strongholds than you do for killing monsters. That's why we do use strongholds for this event. So going back to what I was saying earlier, some people will sit in one spot and they'll long march on 30s from long range and they'll just use a lot of march speeds. That's absolutely viable if you want to do that. I prefer the teleport method. Some people prefer to long march. Uh, the thing about that is if you're long marching, then you'll have somebody like me that'll scoop in and scoop that 30 up out, right out from underneath you. And that could get frustrating. I'm sorry if I do it to you. If you're in Kingdom 13 with me, I probably do it to you frequently. I apologize for that, but Dark Lord chests are important. So now what I'm showing is what happens when you run out of Chaotic 30s. You see here that I'm out of Chaotic 30s. And if you run out of Chaotic 30s, if you hit search and you don't see any more Chaotic 30s, you need to hit the map button and then poke a different area of the map and then hit search. And when you hit the search, some will populate. You might get some. If you go all over the map and there aren't any 30s left, you need to bump down to 29s. And 29s give ore, so they're not that great for resources. Uh, doing a, doing okay at a World Inferno and going really hard will actually net you quite a bit of silver because of all the 30s you kill. But you need to bump down to 29s, and you need to use 29s. So even though the resources are less important on 29s, you still want to use 29s just because they have more Tier 6 troops, more points, and you just need to get as many Tier 6 Chaotic Stronghold kills as you can. So as you can see, I'm doing the same thing that I was doing with 30s, but now I'm using 29s. And it's the same thing for uh, more until more 30s spawn. And 30s will respawn during this, uh, this World Inferno. So you need to periodically be checking slide bar rack up to 30, check and see if more 30s have spawned. If they have, then obviously start using 30s again. You see there I went and checked the time on it just because I uh, am obviously quite bored with killing chaotic strongholds at this point. And also I want to know how much AP I need to be popping every time I run out. So towards the tail end of the World Inferno, I'll stop loading up a whole lot of AP. You're probably going to use around six to 7,000 AP if you're going full speed the entire time, full speed ahead. And you'll probably use around 100,000 gold in teleports and march speeds as well, depending on what you have stockpiled already. So just go into it expecting that. But 50 Dark Lord chests for it is well worth the investment on that, especially if you get good drops out of it. And it's way cheaper than hitting the high-level World Inferno events for research, construction, and troop training. To do that, you're going to have to get 200 billion points or so, or more sometimes. So just keep that in mind. Usually in these events, around four and a half billion will get you pretty high on the leaderboards. Uh, I win this one with 4.6 billion, but I also lost one later on this day with 5 billion because like I said, Achilles went really hard on it. So now what I'm going to show you is what I was talking about earlier. When you run out of level 30s to kill in your area, you hit search, you've only got one on the search bar, two on the search bar, you know, whatever. Then you need to hit another, another area of the map. And that other area of the map will sometimes populate. Well, actually, what I'm going to show you is the end of the World Inferno here. You see it's ended. It's 20 seconds uh, past its due time, so I killed a couple extras there. I got 4.6 billion troops. Uh, 4.6 billion is not going to beat Fun Inception. That guy's going to win every time. This one got me number one because I got lucky, and he was on vacation, apparently. And you see Achilles takes number three, so I guess that pissed him off because in the next one, he dominates me, even though I went up to 5.1 billion. And you see here... It's a miracle bake is finally first. That's very true. Usually I get second or third. <laughs> it's been uh, been kind of a running joke amongst my kingdom and my alliance that I'm going to take second or third every single time. But let's look at what we got out of doing that one world inferno. If you're low on runes, it's a really good way to get more runes. You see, I got 1,763 rank four rune chests. Open them all. Got a whole shitload of upgrade hammers. But this is the important part. Dark Lord. I pulled a gold crafted amethyst, two purples, a gold Drakina scale, which is basically the most important pull you can get, and then some other stuff as well. So that was a very good set of 50 Dark Lord chests there. Anytime you pull a gold scale, you should definitely brag about it both online and in Alliance chat, and everybody will hate you for it. So let's go look and see what I can craft. I already had some stuff left there. You see, now I've only got one of those purples. I've got only one purple talon. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going through my forge, and I'm looking at how many different kinds of purples I have, because... For Dark Lord specifically, the scales are the most rare item portion of them. However, you will be low on others as well. You see here, Soul Essence. I only have one gold and I have one purple. So I can break that into five purples. I've got one gold and I've got one purple uh, Drakina scale as well. So I can break that into five. You need three of each of those in order to upgrade a purple. So what I recommend doing is you need to craft 
at 60%, not using a Dracaena scale. You need to use the other two. So here, Dracaena blood and the other one, uh, the Talon for the weapon and the offhand, that's what I do. I use gold of those two, purple of the scale at 60%. If I get purple, then what I do is I wait until I have three purples, and then I upgrade them. And that's because you will quickly, quickly, quickly run out of other materials for Dark Lord if you're using uh, the gamble method. You should be using the gamble method. You will get faster Dark Lord doing that, but you don't want to do it like we did with the other sets and used to do with the other sets. You need to work upgrading into the situation. If you're doing these World Infernos, you should have plenty of upgrade hammers as well. And, you know, well, honestly, most people just have plenty of upgrade hammers. So what I'm doing here is I look at the Dark Power Necklace. I see I've only got one gold Soul Essence, and I've got five purple Drakina Scales or one gold of those. So I can do a 100% craft on this, or... I can drop my scale down to blue. And if I drop my scale down to blue, that gives me a 70% chance. If I leave the scale as purple, it gives me an 80% chance. I would rather have four 70% chance than one 80% chance. So I drop the scale down to blue, and I hit craft on it. And then I'm going to speed through the craft, obviously, because there's no way I'm going to sit here and let a Dark Lord piece craft for that entire time and see what we get. We got a gold necklace out of it. So, using a 70% chance, got a gold necklace. I'm immediately going to go upgrade, or excuse me, enhance that necklace. And you see, 3 to 4, I get an additional 13% attack, and I get an additional 4% uh, or so on defense and HP. So, slowly but surely, the Dark Lord marches on. Up to 50% on that one accessory, and 1,400% additional damage to Tier 1 troops. 176% attack, which is the big one. So, as you can see, slowly but surely... The Dark Lord is getting to the point that it's going to be good, and it's because of these World Infernos. So, quick rundown. Set a few heroes to Purple Cav gear. Set their runes up. You don't need those heroes anyway. Set their runes up for Chaotic Stronghold March Speed. You can even use Town Mode Boost if you want to do it. Teleport to 30s. Port around. Hit everything. Give me a like. Give me a follow. Comment if you'd like an invite to our line channel. My ID is in the description of this video. Good luck with your Dark Lord crafts. Good luck in the gambling. I got lucky. Hope you do too. And most importantly, don't beat me in the world inferno. That's going to make me mad.